Welcome to the uh, shortwave radio channel and I wanted to uh, just rectify a little video that I did uh, concerning the uh, SDR play RSPDX. So now I've got three antennas plugged in. Uh, this is the picture where I don't have the uh, three but uh, right now three antennas are now plugged on the um, RSPDX. Uh, the way that I've set it up now is that uh, antenna A is the W6 LVP loop. And it's actually at a 90 degree angle compared to my other loops to um, see uh, if it changes anything and what else can I get or maybe stronger signals from some other parts of, uh, you know, of, of shortwave. I don't know. We'll see. Antenna B is the original MLA30 and antenna C with that B and C adapter is the new MLA30+. Plus. Uh, what I wanted to rectify is I said that antenna C connector I have for uh, HDR, I dynamic range. Uh, I dynamic range mode actually uh, works on all ports, not just antenna C. In my video, I kind of uh, hinted that it was antenna C only that had uh, HDR mode, uh, which is not I dynamic range. And it has to be enabled in a specific way also. Um, a lot of you have noticed, and yes, it's absolutely true. When I uh, tuned the AM band the other day, the AM band tuning was on regular mode. Uh, I will try to have another scan of the AM band tonight, around midnight, the same time I did the other day. But this time, I will be using HDR mode, eye dynamic range, which is improving the reception and the selectivity of um, basically... And the resistance, if you want, of the SDR Play RSPDX to strong signals on a medium wave band. So we'll do a same the same scan, but this time in HDR enabled. Uh, my review is very very close to be coming up. I actually been reading the uh, SDR Uno and the RSPDX um, um, as much information on all of that as possible, of course, to uh, brush up on my knowledge of all of this. Um, once again, it's a great device if you're looking for an SDR play or a, if you're looking for an SDR, you know, um, like I always say, and I'll, I'll keep saying it, if you're looking for something that isn't too expensive because you're a limited budget, the RSP1A is amazing. You should get that. And if you can, well, you know, got more antenna inputs and um, even a, uh, you got HDR mode, which is unavailable on other uh, RSP devices. And, of course, clock reference possibilities. Then you can go to the RSPDX, which is uh, quite new in the uh, SDR play devices and radios. Uh, so uh, you can check that out. So more videos coming up, and the review is very, very soon to be here. So I hope that you enjoyed that. But uh, I'm really enjoying all of these devices. They are quite amazing. Uh, and like I like to say, price versus performance, very hard to beat. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.